Good evening everybody. Thank you once again for uh, allowing me to be here in such brilliant, brilliant, talented musical company tonight. I'm going to do a couple of poems for you, as it says in the schedule. Uh, the first one is quite a short one, and it's, uh, it's kind of Doric, and it's called My Granny's Cranny. I've never read it out before, so bear with me. My granny's cranny is babbit and bent in our the place. It happened when she was just a recline. She tried to hit a cousy as we a banjo and missed and hurt the beast in the face. Well, safe to say the bovine creator wasn't amused. Sick enough a why to be abused. Sick enough a why to be abused. Stumped her feet and started to give chase, making the granny run for her life. Run, run, dodging in ah, but the coo cut up and butted her ass right up in all the war. Landed with a thump, a bump, on a clump of grass by some sappy dubs. Her heed was fine, her knees and spine were hale, her pride was hurt, and also her hand. That's why my granny's cranny is babbit in our the place. Thank you. Right. This one's slightly longer and was written last Thursday and it, uh, it was written on a theme of a poem a day that we, the, a group of us are having to do and the theme last Thursday was Natural Light. This one started off as something and ended up something totally different. So, Natural Light. This one's called Northeast Midsummer. The time between sunset and sunrise, a valley full of mist, the type that lingers low, and you above it by the side of the road, just away from the road, gazing at the beauty, the serenity of the world at peace, and that singular moment of time, the sun barely warming the air, but the promise is there, a promise of a river to be seen, some greenery to dry out, a lorry delivering stop to Tesco goes by, shattering the silence, but just for one moment. One distracting and annoying moment, then as quick as it appeared, it's gone. A lone heron passes by, the sky still, still and waiting for some more avian creatures to fill it. The tops of trees poking through the moisture, unsure as yet whether it is time to begin the day. That uncertain period in this part of the world when darkness barely reaches, barely breaches the fields and beaches, where, if you stand on the shore, arms outstretched, you can almost measure the sun going down at your left hand. Then a short time later, after following the glow along the North Sea horizon, you can see it rise by your right. But wait, back by the roadside, the silence continues. More birds star. Some rabbits scamper in the fields in the other side of the field where they pay no attention to you, to you and your silence. The mist still persists, not willing to give up its place, its place where nature controls and souls enjoy this timely silence. Another truck and a car or two going where they have to go, then, then, just the natural order of life and beasts, a bee getting the pollen before the other bees, the buzzing sound like a near horn in the quietness, the absolute quiescence of here and now. This light is changing now, less serene, less soft. The sun is forcing its warmth, but you still feel the chill. You lie there on the wet grass by the tracks that you left. Your vehicle not far away. The grey, low clouds disappearing. Faster now, but still taciturn around you. Surround you. As the day gets brighter, your weight gets lighter. Your mood uncaring. Sharing your thoughts with the insects. The insects crawling, crawling. Not stalling as they alight on you. More noise, more cars they stop. They look at the scenic view and you, just out of sight. You try, it's getting colder. 
and darker and damper. Lights flash and the silence now shattered. A siren, too, too late. You stop thinking, moving. Your car upside down yards from you. Glass shattered, some entangled in your hair. You care not, you care for not. No thoughts left. Your eyes stare aimlessly. A fly lands on one. You don't blink. You don't move. You don't think. The ambulance men scramble, scramble down the bank, the darkness, dankness not hindering, no lingering for them. They reach the stillness that is you. Too late. Your natural light has gone out. Good night and thank you.